What's going on, everybody? KD for the Wealth Wells. Today is 5 29 2023. This is your weekly prep where we discuss key levels, market moving events. Uh, we discuss um, all the news and the levels and the strategy, the thesis we need to crush the market every single day. Let's get the preliminaries out the way. All right. First thing you need to do is come into the Discord, spend some time in the testimonials channel. These are heartfelt comments from people who have been through trading training and the like with me. Some have been in the Discord for quite some time, some just joining, others have been through all the training, some some of the training. Uh, listen, this is where the cool kids are. Spend time just reading what these folks have said about the Discord. I'm very humbled and honored and thank you for that. And then after that, get some training. You got to go down the training stack. Once you click this link right here, it will take you to this page here. Now, starting June 1st, I have one hour digital training being released of my setups. You will see the link on my page right here, VVP setups, and you'll see a list of setups starting to appear. You can go down that stack and take as many or as few as you like. One per month will be released. All right. I've been asked, KD, what's your setup for this uh, you know, time of day or that time of day or this you know, move or that move or this play or that play, or what have you? I've bottled my setups into one hour trainings. I'll make them available to you in digital format. The setups are, you, know, you can take them at your leisure. They are my go-to. I'm not holding anything back. I give it all to you. Now I will say this, in order to be successful and to understand the training in these setups, to really get it, hear me out. You have to take training folks. I'm not in the business of helping people, you know, just gather data without putting it into, you know, to good use. So listen, take the training, go down the stack, and then, or in addition to the setups, ooh, baby, you are going to be a monster. So would you like to know how I trade reversals? Would you like to know how I trade breakouts? Would you like to know how I trade momentum trades? Would you like to know all of the different tricks and tools I have in my tool bag to get the high win percentage that you see me crushing it with every single week? That'll be coming right here, VVP setups, and then take the training. Why am I releasing this? Here's the reason I'm releasing this training. All right, I am not a YouTuber. I'm not a social media guy. I don't have time for that. Here's the reason. When I do trainings with folks, I don't mind doing the trainings. I enjoy helping people. I get emails, DMs, and messages of people who have been reaching some incredible success. I'm very happy and proud. However, when I'm doing my trainings, although my trainings are partially live, partial uh, digital, they're still going significantly over time because people have so many questions. And if you've taken my trainings, you know I do not leave until your questions are answered and you are satisfied as far as getting the information. There will be an effective transfer of knowledge, but they're just going over time too much. So all of the common questions that I've gotten in the one-on-ones, in the training, in the swim with the wells, all of that, in the coaching sessions, I just go ahead and demonstrate that in my setups, the VVP setups, this will be KD setups. So you can take whichever one you like, it will not be the deep dive. This will be straight up one hour, what to do to get max profit for this setup. That's it. The next training, what to do to get max profit for the next setup. That's how we'll roll. These trainings will not be for the newbie. I'm going to get right to it. And there are recordings of one-on-one -on -one sessions that I've done, how I break things down. And we go from one setup all the way down to mental development and psychological trading, psychology trading uh, as well. So that is what's coming June 1st. You can click my link tree and it'll take you there. All right. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to do one other thing. Do yourself a favor where the cool kids are. Come into the tier three access. I am here every single day trading. I've, you've got me for the morning session. We're going to make some effective trades. Last week, green week, like we do every week. We're going to do the same thing this week. All right. So let's get to it. And then one last thing I, I got to cover. This is my time to cover all the preliminaries. So there is a books channel because of requests. Now, people have asked me, Katie, what book are you reading? How do you get to elite status or good status or great status in the market? It takes more than just reading a book on how to trade a stock. You have to read books that help you with mental development and trading skills. So if you go into this channel, 
I've got dozens of books that I have read and continue to read. Many of them I've read three and four times over and over throughout my career. My favorites are in there. There's a link there to Amazon. Get the book. I like the hard copy. You can get the audio. It's up to you. But I've got the books channel there right under the mental health channel there designed to help you with just straight up dealing with the mental challenges of trying to be successful in the market. All right. All right. That's enough. Now let's get to this thing. All right. So let's talk about, um, you know what? How about we start here? And first we go over to the general channel where I post this week's uh, market moving events, et cetera. All right. So let's take a look at Monday and Tuesday. So obviously today, Monday, not much going on. Futures market ran to about one o'clock. Done. Nice move at the end of the uh, end of the session, though. I will say that it was very tempted, but I didn't take it because of volume and spending time with the family. All right. So there's a couple of data points. So Tuesday, what do we have to look forward to? I'm looking for consumer confidence at 10 o'clock. I already know home price index. I know home sales are down. I know inventory is stagnant. And I'm I've said this from day one. I'm going to keep on saying it. I've gave, uh, you know, my system, my strategy to the Discord a year ago. I told you what to do, or I said what I would be doing in, in the real estate market around this time, stacking those chips, getting ready to make some good buys. Just wait to the second half, or rather the backside of the year, third and fourth quarter. You'll see uh, more of the inventory come available in the real estate market. I mean, mortgage, I mean, 30 year mortgage is what, 7.1? I mean, that's incredible. 7.1%. I mean, who's paying that? Nobody, right? So we're going to see a shift in the real estate market coming soon. I'll be looking at those numbers, but that's not going to necessarily impact the market on Tuesday, like consumer confidence. Then we got some uh, Fed members talking, barking, talking at 1 p.m. All right, let's go on to Wednesday. All right, Wednesday, jolts, Chicago PMI. And then we've got two Fed members talking backside of the day. I'll be watching for the PMI numbers coming up 945. Jolts, of course, we want to keep our eye because uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got some labor numbers coming out. That's going to move the market, no doubt about it. All right. So we'll be watching for there. We expect volatility coming to there. And we're going to talk about why 10 o'clock is relative to us uh, on Wednesday in relation to how we ended last week. Okay. Thursday, Thursday, we got non-farm payroll, ADP, jobless names. So it'll be a jobless day, isms, a uh, manufacturing index as well. That's going to be a big day for um, labor discussions and uh, those uh, ADP numbers coming out there. It's going to be pre-market action for all those who are trading the futures, guys. Then you know what you need to do. You know, you need to be dialed in, number one. And uh, I'll be in the futures channel early Thursday to help you with some things. Now, I'm not trying to trade the whipsaw, but we will be engaged Thursday morning. So those inside of the private uh, disc channel, you'll know where to find me. And then, of course, we got Employment Fridays. All right. So Friday, numbers coming out 830. We'll be looking for that. And that'll drop and help us, uh, you know, get the volatility that we need. All right. So that's, uh, and then of course, we've got uh, a little bit of earnings coming up here. Nothing that I'm looking forward to as far as market moving data, but I do like Salesforce. I do like Box in there. So, you know, uh, those are some, I've, you know, things I'm watching for the week and I'll be putting some swings out there, man. But I will say this, I will say you guys in the swing channel, boy, oh boy, been crushing it. Nice job. Nice job. Keep up the good work. Don't rush, get the best setups. Those folks have been through this training right here, Swing 550 trading system, and they are crushing it. Keep it up. Okay, so let's get to the charts. All right. So before we do that, how about we take a look at last week, just going into the last, um, you know, close of the session for, you know, backside of the week here, um, Thursday into Friday, massive, massive pump and rally into the market. Now, last week, I did say our la this was our focus from last week. You can go back and watch my weekly prep. You can keep me honest here. Make sure, you know, obviously I'm consistent with this stuff here. And the weekly prep is here. Boom, 521. I said these exact same things in there. Call wall, like a magnet. We're being pulled up to 4,200 on SPX. That's our main call wall. This means we're, we're like a magnet. This area in the market would pull us there because of open interest and some other things. We knew there was a longer weekend. We've got end of month volatility coming upon us in the debt ceiling. Once the debt ceiling there was some inklings that they would get, get to a somewhat of a deal. Uh, we saw a little bit of spike, but the major uh, volatility that was pushing the market was tied to the 4,200 call wall. Let's get right to it. This week, 
I'm still looking at the call wall, although those those um, contracts have kind of um, I, I see the interest dissipating there somewhat. I still understand that 4200 is a major area on the market. I would like a retest, a breakdown and a re um, come come back around and retest this area again. Why? End of month. I know that Wall Street would kind of shift. More importantly, I've got that JPM collar that's going to roll on May 31st. That's going to introduce some serious volatility. And we're going to be moving forward into June OPEX, which means the next um, uh, collar that, that's going to be shifting is going to be even bigger. This will be probably of the year, the largest, and more um, uh, interest heavy um, uh, interest heavy uh, OPEX of the year. So we're going to see some volatility leading up to and around this area. And I am here for it, baby. Consumer confidence, jolts, ADP numbers is what I'm watching. These are the main drivers for the market this week. Let's get to the levels. Here we go. All right. So if you've been watching any of my videos, I give you the playbook every week. I give it to you. All right. Even for those folks who are not inside the private channel, you have a overall view of what's happening. And would you look at that? This level, I didn't make it up. I didn't just put it up there. Go look at my other channels, my other uh, videos. It's there, all right? You can clearly see where the market is live right now. Futures are chipping around 422350 right above our level. What would I like to see? I'd like to see a pullback to 4210 right there right there. This is where I'd like to see a pullback to. And it just so happens that there is a massive area of volume sitting right there. And I'd like to see this in the overnight section hold in this area. If we break down into this area and we begin to hold, I don't see us getting beneath this 4,200 unless there's some market catalyst or some type of sentiment in there, especially if the if the uh, deal continues to be favorable for the debt ceiling. And as we go into the end of the month. Now, I'll, I, I we will see a little bit of volatility from the sell-off coming at the end of the month. And then from these mar this market moving data, once that settles, especially ADP and um, you know the, the employment related data, once that settles, I'd like us to retest and then make our approach back up here to these highs of two, three, uh, four, two, three, nine and above All right, in the market. That's what I'm looking at. Let's take a look at the SPX so you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. All right. Same thing with the SPX. Obviously, we'd like to see a retest and a chip around this 4,200 area and then for us to hold strong. That's going to be dependent on the backside of the week on um, job jobless claims and uh, ADP report. Let's take a look at SPY and see where we left off. SPY, again, here's, here's some of my major levels there. You can clearly see as it stands right now, the market is gapped up. We're chipping right around this 42, uh, 422.15. I want to see a rejection off of that area, come down to an area of interest somewhere around 417.98. I will take the run up and the rejection on both of these setups once I see it coming with supporting volume. That's my thesis going into the early part of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday. These are not all my levels. My levels are posted every single day inside of the private channel right here. And the levels are adjusted frequently, especially since the market is shifting around. We want to see, um, we want to see, uh, clean levels, and we want to see this thing settle out, and I'll continue to adjust. Let's take a look at the SPX again. Now, here's what I'm looking for, all right? So one of the, the main things that we're going to be looking forward to is June OPEX, all right? End of the month here, JPM's got that collar that's going to roll on the 31st and the end of month, right? So we're going to see some volatility of that. And that short call position is sitting somewhere around 4219 in this area here right here on the SPX, all right? Somewhere in that area, right? We've also killer wells. You know, we have key levels in that area. So when you see weakness in that area, wait for the move and then you can short it and or fade this thing back down to um, 4,200, all right? Once we get past the end of month, then, um, then we can basically look forward to the next, the first two weeks in June because one of the major, um, JPM collars that that uh, that's going to be rolling or that's going to be in play at that point. And that's all the way up here at 4320. So this is going to mean that like a magnet, we have a good chance if, if market moving data and sentiment and geopolitical news and everything else holds us, you got a good chance of this thing being pulled up here in this area over the next three weeks. All right. If that doesn't happen, no problem. We're just going to play the levels as normal. But why am I giving you this information? Well, because everybody likes a good 10X play. I'm trying to help you out here and to show you. If you see this thing going for it 
and it's chipping around, guess what? Even, either you're, you're swinging or you're day trading, you got a good chance once we get past the end of the month. All right, we got a lot of interest up in this area and like a magnet, we're going to be pulled up there. We're really looking forward to June SPX quad witching. That's what's going to drive the market over the next three weeks. If everything else, all our geopolitical news, you know, no Fed member says anything crazy, you know, all of our data points match, that's where we're going, folks. Those are my levels. That is the thesis for the week. I'm going to really not get too engaged out the open, not be too ag aggressive unless volume supports itself. But I am going to be heavily engaged after 10 o'clock. Consumer confidence numbers comes out. I'm going to ride that wave one way or the other. And we're going to crush this thing. All right. Listen, do yourself a favor. Come into the Discord, right? Come into the Discord. I'm going to say it again and keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep... Read the testimonials. Get the training. Then join tier three. Come June 1st, my training will be released here. VVP setups, every single month, one training will be released on one new setup. You can learn my tricks, my tips, everything that I'm doing to crush this thing every single day, how I watch the market, how I view the market, and how I get that high 90% win. Listen, it's been a pleasure talking with you guys. I want to get you back to your family. I'll stick around for two minutes for any questions. Other than that, folks, listen, if you show up, you'll go up. Show up to the market prepared, ready, disciplined, key levels, and watch your skill set and your account go up. KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out.